One of these days, I'm actually going to do scat on the way into this show. And you guys will all be terribly, horribly disappointed. Hey, it's Operation BSU Trailer Trash. You guys can talk now. Woohoo! Sound like you're having a good time. That's what we're going for. Well, I'm. Yay. I'm oh, wait, uh, there we go. Hey, there, see that we even have an Adam this week, which, which everybody is excited and thrilled by. Just to, just to run down the, the usual startup checklist, remember Operation BSU is an occasional show, and it is a community. A community of, well, I can't say equals or peers, or it's a community of people. You know, and we post to them. Yeah, we, we share news. We share video game tips, tricks, trailers. You know what? Just go over to Google+. Plus. I know. I know. You all have Google Plus accounts. Trust me. Do you it. do. Also, somebody's vacuuming. I'm jealous. Uh, go over to Google+, Plus, search for Operation BSU, join the community, and you too can get into the Operation BSU trailer trash or whatever other hangouts that we are doing and recording live, live for everyone's delectation. Uh, the, that's the best place to, to find it. If you want to find us on the web, you can go to operationbsu.org and see the blog, which I don't post to a whole lot because the community exists and it's very convenient. But for some things, larger, more complicated things, we post on the blog and it's yes. fantastic. I, I really enjoy that when I get to do it. It's, it takes all day to make a really good post. But If you're interested in our old shows, that is audio-only shows. You can catch those on TalkShoe.com, show ID 33899. And that's full of awesome goodness that goes back for many, 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 many years. Yes. Oh, let's, let's run through the folks on the phone right now. I'm so out of habit, and it, I'm thinking about phones. But let's run through them. Let's start with Eric the Halfaby, who is not screen sharing or, or, you know, being exciting at all. He just has his token, which means you folks in the YouTube stream are seeing a big black square from him. Say hi, Eric. Hi. I am the big black square. No, no, you're the second big black square. Oh, I'm the first one. I'm the important one. Oh, nope, first nope, on mine, you're the fourth. For, oh, see, it's an orderly problem. Oh, and you're in orb with relative. weird paintbrush markings. <laughs> yes, he's Granville Island. Eric, what is the one thing that you want people to be warned about this week? Warned about? Warned about. Well, as of the other day, uh, the president has asked Congress to continue the 12-year-old state of emergency after 9-11. So you feel they should be... Because ready? he's a wimp. Yeah, well, that's true. Too. Oh, yes, we have two presidents in a row who can't, you know, fucking end the emergency. So... Obviously, that's a problem. All right, next up, Kiyomi, who is not in a state of emergency. Say hi, Kiyomi. Hello. She is likewise a big black square. That's right. What See, is it I'm that you would? I'm really like? more of a rectangle. That's all right. Rectangular prism. You're, you're, you've got depth. Just, just agree and go on. It's cool. What is it? The one thing that you would like to warn people about this week? Warn people. That was the idea. Yes. I guess not really. Anything. No, I don't have anything to warn the people about. She doesn't want you to see her coming. I see. It's all part of the, her cunning cunning plan. Spencer Powell, who is to brought... Turn off the bedroom with Ken. No, 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 no. That, that's, we just switched to yours. That's the creepy mm. part. Uh, yes, but I was talking about Kiyomi. That's beside the I point. I see. How are you doing, Spencer? We haven't seen you in a bit. You haven't, because life are lollipops. Don't I know you? You you you, you, you might remember his touch on Probably. your lollipop. <laughs> hmm. What is the one thing you want to warn people about this week, Spencer? This week, um, warn people to keep their thirtieth free because things are happening. Yeah, Lots yeah, things. things are happening. We'll talk about that in a minute. We will go back to that. That the thirtieth is a Monday, by the way. It is a Monday, which is always difficult to keep free, but try anyway. 
Now we're going to see if she's got her microphone on. This is uh, this is going to be a good question. Dawn Jones. Yes, the microphone is on. The who has been nauseated by my presence all week. Except it's a fair. No, I was nausea. Yeah. She towards was the end. Yeah. yeah. Towards the end was yeah, I kind of lost my shit, but hey. <laughs> kind of literally, I suppose. Literally. Anyway, one thing you would like to warn people about this week. Stay the hell away from me. I am full of plague. <laughs> and yet I am strangely immune. It's amazing. Well, that'll last five antibiotics. minutes. No, yeah. it's you already had the plague, didn't you, safe. Alex? It's, I've, I've had different plagues. It's complicated. All right. Bruce Pringlemeyer, who is here courtesy of, well, an incredible other show that happens on Sunday nights. Bruce, how you doing? Not doing too bad at all. How are you? I am I'm I'm pretty good okay. What is the one thing you would like to warn people about this week? Well stay away from me because I had the plague yesterday. So oh, you guys in your plague. Uh, but I'll actually say you can be warned about joining the Media Outsiders tomorrow night on Talk Show, eight one eight six five at ten PM Eastern time. Where we're gonna talk about movies without spoilers, your favorite T V shows you're looking forward to, and I'm sure Squid will have something entertaining. That's what you have to be warned about right there. Oh God, I've been I've been weak this week. It's I've been distracted, but that's that's all right. We will have a great show tomorrow night, 10 p.m. on Talk Show, and you can listen in live at that time. And uh, I will try to be entertaining. Last but not least, certainly one of the most entertaining people in a top hat tonight, Adam. Possibly. Adam Stevenson, home from the Navy, the hole in the water they keep him in until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. We get to see how, how he keeps his house, which is a bit messy. It's all right, though. It's cool. Uh, what is the one thing you would like to warn people about this week? The one thing I would like to warn people about this week would have to be... You know what? No. No warnings. Chaos. No warning. Chaos. It's all, Life is nothing. chaos. You don't nothing deserve a warning. Your warning is life itself. I, I would buy that. I would buy that. That's all the people we have with us tonight. That's fantastic. I want to remind everybody danger that... Danger can happen. <laughs> danger can't happen. Stranger danger can happen. I want to remind everybody that where you want to go to check out Operation BSU stuff is the Operation BSU community, which you can see on the screen right now. That's on Google+. And that's where you can see live shows with us and all the Huzzah. news updates. Uh, you'll notice... One of the things posted this week is a video on dick maintenance. You, you really need to read that. Uh, as well as some other stuff. All fantastic. And if you catch our BSU community and want to catch our back videos, all the old shows, go to youtube.com slash squidlord. That's the Operation BSU channel, and that's where you can find the Operation BSU trailer trash with all the trailers that we'll be covering in the future, as well as online gameplay, uh, and other playlists of madness and things that I've liked. Trust me, this is some good stuff, especially Trapped in the Toilet with Todd. Trust me. Trust me. Go watch it. You can also catch any previous shows that you may have missed since we've moved to Google. Ah, oh, and that... I can always warn you that I have deranged poetry, and I'm not afraid to use it! This is true. He, he is full of derangement. I'm, I'm, but we're not going with poetry tonight. Instead, oh, we're no. going to... No, no, we're going with something a little more disturbing, a little more off-kilter. We're going to talk about a movie that is in theaters right now, in fact. Uh, it's made $35 million domestic. Movie? It's made $35 million domestic, $22 million foreign, and it's got a production budget of $34 million, so it's made its money. It's Riddick. This is where you jump in and say something clever. It's a guy getting his hand eaten by a, a dragon something. I don't know. Something. But it is really? Riddick. Or, it's Riddick 3, or as it might also be called, Pitch Black 2. Pitch Black. You know, I'm okay with that. I'm Riddick a sucker for with a vengeance. I, I, I can't hear anything about the video. <laughs> you, you can't no, hear the video. video isn't. There are limits though, to uh, what we're allowed to do. It's okay. I'm a sucker for Vin Diesel. I, I know it. He's a gamer. We're gamers. He loves what he does. We love what he does. And I've actually played in an RPG. That's where the nicest looking machete I've ever seen. It's a lovely machete. But I, I've played in games where we've all played Vin Diesel. Everybody at the table was playing an incarnation of Vin Diesel. That's the that kind of... It's called Cards Against Humanity. No, that's different. Slightly. <laughs> it was actually a real that RPG. That sounds so like a lot of fun. I, 
I, I'm in. So Which I'm incarnation already in you. I'm absolutely. So what, they get Zerg rushed in the movie or something? They do. Yeah. Uh, Squid was playing the uh, the babysitter uh, seal version of Vin Diesel, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I believe I was actually playing Riddick. I know that's disturbing, but Necromunder Ruler Riddick. So. Speaking of, where the heck was that in this trailer? I don't. Know. That is a good question. I that's something interesting about this trailer. If you've been following the Riddick series, you know, y- hey, he was rulers of the Necromunger for a while, and and now he's hanging out on what looks to be the Pitch Black pan- planet with again crap happening. Well, different planet. There are apparently a lot of very ugly planets throughout the universe that are habitable, but will kill the fuck out of you for no clear reason. For so just like Australia, for story reasons, obviously. <laughs> Look, already we see Katie Sackhoff. We know somebody is going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Get this. Have we gotten through it? No, we haven't gotten through all the, the trailer all the way through. But yeah, no. I I had to say, and I, I'm not sure how many people will agree with me, but the absolute best line in this whole trailer was, yeah, let's cut him loose. <laughs> <laughs> when Batista says to let you go and is impressed with your ass kicking, it's time to, to, to let him go. Let my people go. Although I'm still gonna say no. That that bit where he kills the guy is fucking silly. No, oh, it's, it's inc- just silly. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not Obviously. even cool. It's too silly. No, I think it's okay. cool. No, I'm it's right with it. awesome and hilarious and silly. Yeah. It's just over the line for what this guy's been established to do. Dude, I mean, killing promised- the guy with the teacup made a lot more sense. No, he, he, he <laughs> killed the guy with the teacup. That was that pretty much set the stage. We know <laughs> that. We know that Riddick is basically Conan in space. Yeah. That's Which basically technically ways. shouldn't have made it... Just the... without any of the continuity. <laughs> uh, well, most okay. of the continuity of Conan was imposed after the fact. That's true. See? A clearly the inspiration. The original Conan stories were just hell. Uh, this is him as a young guy kicking ass. This is him as an old king kicking ass. This is somewhere in between. It doesn't matter when. He just kicked ass. Yep, see? He is Conan. He is He's Conan. And, and here is just like, what, are they waiting to take his quickening or something? I'm not sure. See, that's the thing. This trailer, the best thing about this trailer, is, and it is a good trailer because it makes us interested and it gives us something to talk about, mm-hmm. but you know, you know, just looking at this thing, this is like, all this is is like the first 40 minutes of the movie. How did we get here? How do we? Where do we go from here? I got no clue. But it'll be so in cool. other words, this trailer is exactly like the trailer for Pacific Rim. All the good parts of the movie are in the trailer. No, I, I think there's probably quite a bit more uh, good parts of the movie. I, yeah. uh, this You'll is... have to see and let us know. I mean, yeah, to be honest, yeah, I'll definitely. probably see it. Maybe not in the theater, but yeah, uh, we'll see it. So, it's a so I, have a, I have a question for yes, people answers. familiar with, this, uh, with the pitch black stuff. Does the trailer make sense? Yeah, it fits more with the version of the the setting we saw in Pitch Black and you know parts of Riddick. It isn't the over the top, damn near forty k looking stuff. Oh. It's the okay. kind of scroungy, dirty universe where there are people who want to rest or decapitate Riddick. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody, though. To be fair. I mean, hey, at what point, though, I want to know what point do they just change the bounty to? Hey, we'll pay for your funeral. <laughs> I yeah. think that happened last movie. That's, I that's... I love the fact that they took the speeder bikes from uh, Return of the Jedi and said, you know what, these need to be more heavy metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what this trailer reminds me of more than anything else. It reminds me of. You know, it's something from Metal Hurland. It reminds me of something from Metal, Heavy Metal Magazine. Just really yellow, and I, I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> just really yellow. Yeah. 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 I'm really can I get right. you? Can I get you, Alex, to skip forward to the bit where he's sliding through the water with a bone upraised and doing weird things there? I want to see oh. if I can see this in the trailer. I didn't look for it. Sure. Let me, I, uh... I was recently... I was recently going through the arc, the, the backlog of my favorite late night show, which is the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. It's the best. You should all watch it. Yeah. Uh, and he had uh, he had Vin Diesel on earlier in the month. And yeah, that that one shot that you see with him just sliding under with the bone raised. Yeah. That was that was the bit that they used. My favorite bit about that is that he has a space dog in his hand, just a little space chihuahua. 
in his hand <laughs> that whole time. <laughs> it's like, what? That's fantastic. He bonded oh, yeah. with it, clearly. Apparently, yeah. I'm, I'm well, he has really to replace the girl that, that got killed by the, the Necromongers. There's obviously. always a girl that gets killed by the Necromongers. And we, if you can replace her with a Chihuahua, you're probably doing okay. I Let's let's go through the the rating, ranking system, as we always do here on BSU. Uh, Adam seems to have stepped out, that poor bastard. So instead, I'm going to start with Bruce. Is this one of the trailers that you have revealed before? Uh, Actually, this is one I forgot all about it, so yes, I have seen this, uh, but I have never seen a Riddick film, so I don't mm. know if I'm uh, if I'm interested in watching it because I'm not a Vin Diesel fan. I might go see it just because of uh, Katie Sackhoff, so I will give it just a one. A one. Well, on our negative five to positive five rating, a one is better than meh. Goose egg is the score of doom. One is I have some feelings about this. That's pretty good. Big because of Katie Sackhoff. You go. You gotta have feelings for Katie. I got a couple. Mm. Eric, uh, how okay. about you? Put that back in your pants, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a plus two, and I, I want to see it. I'm not as enthused as I could be, but uh, the reviews haven't been th- that exciting. But this trailer, it's well put together. It's composed. It's interesting. I want to see it. That's good. That's I've good. heard nothing but bad reviews about this movie. That would be the problem, yeah. But, but well, how do you feel about the trailer? The trailer, honestly, it looks like just like everybody, what everyone else has been saying, a continuation of Pitch Black. It's like Pitch Black, the sequel. Because, I mean, what's the one thing they're hammering on in the preview? From the creators of Pitch Black comes... <gasps> Another pitch black. So on negative five to positive five. On a negative five to positive five, I'd give it an even zero. Oh, the goose egg of doom. That's terrible. Dawn? It's not good enough to go see in theaters, but it's not bad enough that I wouldn't watch it at all. It's one of those movies I'd probably download on Netflix or Hulu and just watch on a rainy day when I've already watched everything worth watching. Yeah, I think that's actually a two on our scale. Or a one. No, that's, that's a, a one. Or a, two. No, that's I'll, a one. I'll a one. It's that's a one. a one. Goose egg is much worse than that. Mr. Goose also, egg is I have a, don't give a shit. Is, I I've uncovered a hat shit. that is specifically designed for this sort of event. <laughs> that that works. Dawn, what were you saying? Um, um, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stress. Goose egg of mystery. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, Vin Diesel and his ridicking not not um, affecting um, you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not the goose egg of apathy. And that I'm would not, be me. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm at a one. I'll watch it if it's on TV. I might even you know take the extra steps to to um, <coughs> download or something, but I. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Mm. No enthusiasm there. Kiyomi! No. Oh, well, just for the trailer, it's, a, I think, a plus one. My rating might have been different if I'd actually seen any of these movies. Oh. So I have no idea what's going on or why I... So, so you're just giving it a pure trailer rating. Yes. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. I'd Here be my... interested. There's no handle, so I can't care. I might be interested in seeing it. Cool enough. Plus it one looks, on that. It looks like uh, a reasonably enjoyable action movie without a whole lot of braining. I, I'm willing to accept that. And Spencer, you are the finalist. I am the final. Well, besides yourself, or did you give one? I don't remember. That's beside I, the point. Well, I'm, um, I'm, I will I'm, say, yeah, I will say of all the ones that we have, all the trailers that we have queued for tonight, this is my highest score. And uh, for me, it's actually a three because I'm probably not going to go see it in theaters, which would be a four, and I'm definitely not going to go all Riddick mania and buy all the things, even if it comes out on Laserdisc. Uh, <laughs> But but I do want to see it, and I'm probably going to actively seek out a, a good way to see it uh, after it's, you know, really some DVD and Netflix and others. Right. Fund it. I will, uh, I'm actually... a bad I, way to see it, Spencer. Say again? 
What would be a bad way to see it, then? Um, steal it. Okay, I'll Torrent. accept that. Seems or right. just, oh, it's on the TV, I guess I'll just sit here because I'm too lazy to get up. That's a one. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm at plus three. It. I'm at plus three on it because, well, I like to see Vin Diesel stabbing people. It's the thing. Yeah. Subtext, probably. You already said you have a thing for him. That's right. I didn't say what that thing was. No, but it was... Bankrupt? You're over there. Know. Having no, a thing. It's a thing. He's got pretty eyes. <laughs> See again for that line. Is that Patty? the thing Alex has? That is. It's it's because Vin Diesel has pretty no, eyes. That's no, that would Alex be Ichabod Crane. Crane. But we'll he's never talk eyes. about oh, that. Oh, he's got pretty eyes too. Okay. <laughs> pretty eyes. <laughs> All right. So uh, right, so that's of streaming. Having that's again, really... having watched Vin Diesel on the late late show, he embarrasses pretty easily. He was blushing through most of the interview. It was hilarious. Wow. You can imagine if he ever showed up oh, on the show. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's that's enough about uh, Vin Diesel. Let's talk about something a little closer to home. And I mean that literally because this is a movie shot in and around Atlanta. I in see. fact, that's it was good. shot in Pottersdale, which if you guys know where the old mill on the Yellow River is because they grind Not really a clue. good grain. Never mind. You, you know. And Conyers, where I grew up. Uh, that was a where long, long time ago. Where there's a monastery. Where there is a monastery. They're cool dudes. Well, I, I it's actually a pretty nice monastery. Uh, this movie is Prisoners, which is starring Hugh Jackman, uh, which yeah. which always is a strange thing. Hugh Jackman and, and, and Jake uh, Gyllenhaal. And in Atlanta. In Atlanta. And it looks like, well, rural Atlanta. It looks the part because it is. I... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this movie. I mean, Hugh Jackman doesn't look like Hugh Jackman. He looks like his role, which is kind awesome. of kind of respectable. Awesome, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and he doesn't look act. like the Wolverine either, which is also good. No, no, he looks like a dude who lives in Conyers. Uh, we, we've got. A, a, right. It still hasn't he aged really in the last fifteen years, but it's yeah. frightening. Yeah, he's immortal. We accept he that. He just Soon. looks like a dude. Looks like a dude. I mean, we all know that he actually is the Wolverine. He doesn't age, but he can dress it up nicely. <laughs> so the premise of this movie is basically some a couple of little girls get kidnapped. This dude gets fingered for the crime because he's driving a beat-up old Winnebago, as you can and see. And he looks kind of creepy. Those, and those apparently he's a bit of a retard. Against him. Yeah, and he's I like mazes. A... I like mazes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, and, and suddenly... Toward the end, we have Detective Loki. No, seriously, that's his yeah, name. Yeah, that's his yeah, name, I'm, Detective I'm Loki. I'm laughing my ass off at that. How could yeah. that possibly end poorly? I, look, the cop has a neck tattoo. We know he's evil. I, look, we just know. So but is the it father. A neck tattoo of a labyrinth, because I haven't seen it. Uh, we it, we'll flip I back and send the scene where the tattoo. The scene where he's pounding on his desk. We'll uh, we'll roll back to that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it, we they. They they release the guy because they don't have enough info on him. They don't have enough. They can't even charge. Hold him. him. Can't even charge him. So the father of one of the, the the girls kidnaps him, locks him up, and in theory tortures him for what he knows. He is a man. Hugh Jackman is a man on the edge. And it's an interesting premise. Um, if you see, there's actually two extended trailers for this. This is one. There's another one. If you want to go dig it up, they're kind of very different. The same setup, but they reveal different aspects of the story. And it's it's really... I don't know. I, there's kidnapping, there's torture, and this movie is sort of the inverse of Taken. Uh, Liam yeah, Neeson this... was, was out there going to take the fight to the bad guys, and this is the guy going to grab a bad guy and take him home. <laughs> Yeah, this I'll be I'll be cold. When this started, I was looking. Oh, a family gathering. Oh shit, is this about them all being someone's hostages? Then I wait a minute. Oh, the kids go. The two girls go. You know, run off, and it's oh no, this is about them being kidnapped, isn't it? I had no interest in the premise. I and I was just struck by the, they give us absolutely no reason besides this guy got in an accident in an RV, and he looks kind of scuzzy. To imply why he is the villain. Well, that's the other trailer. Nah, so, I yeah. cannot judge that other trailer. I can judge this trailer. 
Yeah, we're not sure how we get from there to here. That's that's all we know. They've clearly got the Winnebago yeah. in an impound yard. And yet they're, well, they say, there's no there's no evidence. It's clean. Let's try other places. Yeah. And I just, I get this whole, I just get irritated because, you know, kidnappings of children by people who aren't actually in the family are really damned rare things. So go see to it. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, it's it, it's very interesting because it seems like in this trailer they're making it out where the father that the families actually of the kidnapped girls are the villains rather than rather than the, the yeah it's not sure why why yeah and that that seems like I I'm, I'm not sure if that's what the whole mm-hmm. I I mean this this has been out for a while there's been a lot of a lot of hype around it and so it's mm-hmm. it. It actually it hasn't like been it's... out for a while. It was released today. Okay, it's not... been coming out. Yesterday. It's been coming out. Yeah. There's been a lot of hype around it, and it's it it is a very dark story. And I I don't know. It's thirty three hundred theaters you nationally. See that in this trailer. budget of forty six million. At forty six million is a lot of money to push into a, basically a film that's actor actors and no effects. So yeah. it's a hell of a uh, cast, though. Oh, it's a hell yeah, of a I mean, cast. Yeah, I just. I mean, these are some high caliber people. I just, I get the whole let us prey on the fears of a middle class that can't find enough real things to worry about. But wait, what, I how else would you make myself money? Myself to give a shit. <laughs> That's my reaction too. See, I'm kind of interested in this. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm interested in seeing the, the obvious plot evolution of this guy from a caring yet somewhat distant father into basically a full-out psychopath, and then the the huge twist, which we all know is coming. Um, yes, because... Well, you know, I want to see that. I really want to see... So go to the part where we think the guy has a... The uh, uh, detective has a, a tattoo. Neck tattoo? His evil oh, neck tattoo. Oh. Let me let me find that. Oh, right yeah. there. I mean, there go back. The, where he was interrogating the other guy showed there, too. Oh, no, yeah, he's totally an occult symbol, evil. Yeah, he's he's totally evil. He's an evil dude. I or he was in the uh, the the navy. I can't tell in what it navy. is. It looks like a sun. It's a, it's does, a pointed, kinda... Looks like a medieval sun picture. There are a couple of things it could be, but in it, it clearly his name is Loki, and he's got a neck tattoo. What do you yeah. want from me? I know he's evil. <laughs> but uh, he's only the god of mischief. That's all. Yeah. I just, I just want to see. Not the god of kidnappings. No. I, I really just want to see Hugh Jackman in this role because this is kind of different from how we're used to seeing. You Hugh just want to see him torture the shit out of a guy. I just admit it. Innocent or not? <laughs> it, it ain't a lie. Yeah, it ain't a lie. It's, it's kind of obvious. Shall we do our rundown? I believe, I believe it is rundown time, and we will again go left to right because that's how we're gonna roll today. Adam. Just away from keyboard. Just away from AFK. He misses Bruce. Well, I actually saw a different trailer today. I saw a trailer for this movie that was two hours and thirty-three minutes long. So that sounds like a horrible trailer to sit through. Yeah, it would. It was. A, I actually saw the movie. I won't say anything until tomorrow night for that. Uh, but the trailer does give you the suspense for the movie and that. So I will give the trailer itself a three. Ooh. All right, that's that's actually pretty high praise on this show. So you feel like the trailer did a good job? The trailer got me into watch the movie, so that's, it, it that's did the job it's supposed worked. to do. Yep. So. Uh, Dawn, how do you feel about Prisoners? Oh well, since I gave you this movie to put into trailer trash, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm at a plus three. I'm, really? I'm, in, yeah, I I want to see this. I'm. Now, it may not be, you know, go pay $11 to see it, but I do want to watch this movie. I, I kind of wanted to, I, I feel that, I feel that. Eric, prisoners. Full-on goose egg of apathy. Really? Wow. This arouses, all I felt was the faint dread that, oh no, another hostage kidnapping movie. I just, I've never liked those movies. I find them... Interminable, and this there was just nothing about this that didn't Sorry about feel that. like cheap pandering. So I a goose egg of apathy. I agree. So hard, Eric. <laughs> Note: Neither of these people have children. 
No. And if, the, if, I, if your hook requires that I have children be interested in your scenario, you're screwed. You're missing, you're missing out on a pretty big audience, then. Well, that isn't really true, because you had Taken, and Taken was a pretty darn good movie. And yes, what did it involve? Some angry hook. guy going after his kid. This, this is completely different. Yes. This happens in Conyers. Hey, Conyers is an awesome. Hey, hey, hey! I want you to know that Conyers is an awesome place to kidnap children. I Things I didn't want been, to know about Squid. I would have been interested in this movie if it was definitely a weird supernatural thing. Mm. I'm sick to death. Well, you, you mean if Tom Hiddleston had been playing the detective? <laughs> No, that would have been no, awesome. because unlike some people, I would have been amused. I do not want him to be the first. Maybe player. if Sean Bean made an appearance. Well, I, but, I was just going to say. Oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. But um, go ahead, Bruce. Or, as it is, from the trailer, the thing I'm most interested in is the labyrinth. Like, if the out. movie's got a minotaur hiding out at the end, <laughs> that'd be pretty awesome. You can tell me <laughs> now, Bruce. It's got a it's well, got a minotaur in a Winnebago. Haven't haven't seen this movie. The one thing I would say, and since it was filmed in Conyer, you're saying, I was wondering why I kept seeing this short guy with glasses being followed by a lady with a camera all the time, and it, <laughs> it must have just been Squid trying to get in every shot. That was us. Don and I were running around trying to get in every shot. But from what the trailer gives me, I have to give it a zero. It's oh. not not Who's doing it for me. Spencer. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be harsh. Uh, I have uh, mentioned many times that I don't like horrors, even psychological horrors, which this reads to me. <laughs> and Two syllables I, I to that word. <laughs> Two I, said, I said horrors, and you can't convince me of it. Anyway, uh, so I'm actually a negative two. Not only will I not see it, not only will I not stay in the room where it is being watched, but I will try and convince other people not to watch it as well. Nice. Note to self, don't get him any supernatural horrors. Frank Miller! <laughs> oh. Now see, you're welcome to give me some supernatural Adam, how do you feel about supernatural horrors? I mean, uh... I'm sorry, that movie had... That, that preview had me bored within the first few seconds. I just stopped paying attention to it. So, yeah, that's on a negative five. Negative five? Active... active no, bored? No, negative numbers require you have a reaction. If you're the bored, it's goose egg. No, no, oh, boredom, in that case. boredom is an active thing. Boredom is could be negative one. It's probably not negative five, though. See, negative five to me see, it seems like DVD burning. And, yeah, you go out and actively five, buy copies. All, all right, let's go, let's go with, a, with a zero. Zero, the goose egg. the total all around zero. I'll give Riddick a better rating than I give this one. Wow. That's Riddick, I actually wouldn't mind watching on a cold rainy day. A movie like that, new. No. Well then, let's go to something that you will like, Good and, day everyone, you, sir. and everyone else will like too. And really? something a little more cheerful: Nazi zombies, or or, or something. Oh, oh, oh God, not more zombies. Army. It is Frankenstein's <sighs> army, God, the token I was genre so movie. Unexcited, Alex. Ah, you see, there is one element. I'm with that, you, Key. I am totally unexcited. Also. I also ha am unexcited because the fight of their lives. I was intrigued at first as, huh, what's Has only just about, begun. About, you know, the, about a bunch of Red Army guys in yeah. World War II. Don't see that often. But then, this holy year. shit, it turns into Castle Wolfenstein, the low-budget movie. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I, I have a certain emotional connection to this film. Last week we did, or last show we did Stalingrad, right? Uh, all about Russians mm -hmm. being badass. Uh, I think that was two shows ago, but I could be wrong. Whatever it was. We did Stalingrad. We had to have some more Russians come back, because that's how I am. But starting at about this point in the trailer, about the minute point in the trailer, I suddenly realized what this is. This is not a World War II movie about Nazi zombies and cyborgs. This exactly. is a haunted house attraction that we carried a camera into. And taken like that, it's fucking awesome! 
<laughs> okay, yes, take this it like that. I can, I, can almost, I, can almost I know, do. war is hell, this place, this place is, is worse. worse. <laughs> Who wrote this? It was uh, actually, me. I thought that was kind yeah, of fun. That... No, that was bad, Eric. That was bad. And I'm really like, bad. This is not even a B movie. It's like a D minus. Yeah, it, here's... it hits to the point, and we've seen some really low-budget movies that looked interesting. Fail was like a $10,000 budget movie, and I was like, ooh. Yeah, but mind uh, this low budget. I mind crappy. Yeah, yeah it's... my my big hang up, and I realize that it's something that happens all the time. It it has its own trope. I know this, but I'm still gonna rail on it. Is all the foreigners are speaking English? Of course. Well, they have yeah. to be speaking English. Translation to shoot convention, them, dude. Come on. I mean, the, the Russians are all speaking English, the German scientists are speaking... It's just English, because Did English. Do you really want this to be a subtitled movie, Spencer? <laughs> yeah. That might be too much. I, everything's oh, brown and washed out. You have to listen, listen to the Russian bad Russian, Russian from these actors. God. <laughs> everything's yeah, brown and Russian washed out. That's how you know it's yeah. real. If they weren't anywhere near Russia to make this movie. Come on. And like, well, only the Nazis... Fell. Only the Nazis would think of something like this. So many good people together. Oh my God! They weaponized the human centipede. Yeah. Of course, the other, the other, the other great thing, of course, at the end was the World War II dubstep. Oh yes. What? I feel like I've heard that. Song. What? I need a link for this. I need a link for this right now. I have to it's, hear this. It's on Trailer Trash, dude. YouTube.com/slash/SquidLord. Go to the Trailer Trash playlist. Yeah, you're supposed it is to watch the them before the show. Thing down. Yeah. That's okay. what we publish this stuff. You want to know how to tell a movie is really bad? How? If there's not even a Wikipedia entry for the movie. Wow. <laughs> well, it just came out. They might have not had time to do that. So. Oh, no, no, because there's there's movies that, haven't, that won't even come out for a couple of years that have Wikipedia entries. Yeah, That's but true. they have larger budgets, a lot of devoted fans, people interested just because X, Y, and Z are in it, and the obsessives get to it. With a zero-budget movie, you know. Not Don't judge the obsessives. I, these, I this was it. obviously made by people who were kind of obsessive. I mean, they got the Soviet uniforms fairly right. They went out of their way to actually find some dirty, filthy people. That is appropriate. I don't think and, they went out and found filthy people. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, filthy. I, I don't know. I, there's something about this movie that just has some charm for me. Uh, I really what, understand. Yeah. Yes. That's For me, that does save it from the goose egg, but... I, I feel just, it. It's I'm weak. feeling this movie. I like I said, it, it feels like I walked into a haunted house. It was. It feels like going to Netherworld in Atlanta or one of the other haunted houses, and it's just, it's just fun. It's you better know? if you think about it that way, but it's a lie. You'll only disappoint yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Although now I want to see a movie that's based around a haunted house uh, performance. So I don't. I think this is it, dude. Look at the acting. The first person. No, I meant a movie stuff. about people in a haunted house, but I, I don't oh, know what movie. Oh. I don't know what movie you make about that. I mean, it's actually haunted, is of course the trite idea, but yeah, just did a documentary. Like a romantic comedy. A romantic yeah. comedy. There you go. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it all. I let's let's That's run so through this. Much, yes. Adam, I know that you want to get naked with the uh, Nazis with with blades for hands. Um, no. No. How about no. Oh. And um, let me lift my tea up here. Oh wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Zero or negative or positive? Where are we at? We'll go with a negative one. He just feels mild distaste for this. If I was handed this DVD, I would fling it like a discus. <laughs> Might get more use out of it that way. Could could be. Bruce, how you feel about Frankenstein's army? Double zero. Double zero, twice Double the number. Zero. Can we do that? I, no, I don't you can think only so. use secret zero and only if you're allowed. I, I'm special. I'm allowed. Double zero. What, what does that what? mean? We will say that Bruce is special. That's definitely true. Short yes. bus. Do you have a license to kill this movie? <laughs> I, I wish I had a license to kill the director, the actors, the producers, the studio. Oh, the that sounds set. more like oh, a, a high negative number to me. Than that to sounds like that. active so, distaste. Yeah, That's I'm going to overrule his use of the zero. He has to give a negative number. 
That's yeah, All right, added. negative five added by a couple of zeros there. How's that? <laughs> negative five is hundred. What? That's oh. a lot of hate. That is a Don't lot of kill activity. the actors. They just were doing a job. The director, maybe. And clearly well, not for much all, money in this job. In this. First of all, uh, I don't know if they qualify as actors. So. <laughs> oh, I think they're acting. Out of this. Uh, Dawn, how do you feel about Frankenstein's Army? Yeah, I'm at a zero. I'm at a goose egg. Oh. I really have no feelings whatsoever towards this movie. That's very sad. I'm sorry. Eric, no, actually, I will I'm give sorry. it the mildest of appreciation of what charm and you know, you know, dedication of this that this really cheap ass looking production has. It <laughs> might be better than it looks. I'm gonna give it a plus one. Ooh. I might be. I'd be willing to see it. That is the pity fox of plus ones. Yes, but. It, after watching the trailer for Prisoners, I can't good conscious goose egg it. So, because oh, this at least it wants to intrigue me, and it, it almost <laughs> manages that. It tries very hard. Yeah, but it's there's something there that might be worth watching. I that feeling didn't have that with Prisoners. Fair enough, Kiyomi. Oh. I was almost interested. Almost. <laughs> when it when I saw the title, I saw oh it's a period film, and then I watched the trailer. Uh huh. That interest kind of dried up, went oh, away. Dear. Um, I don't hate it. But you, I'm pretty but sure not I don't with love. hate it. But I don't like it either. I'm. I think. I think it's a at least a, a negative one. Okay. Because I have some feelings. They're just negative. Yeah. It just. It's too silly. <laughs> and it's You're also silly. kind of tropey with tropes I don't like. Fair enough. So. Fair enough. I mean, it might be different if I actually watched the movie, but you'd have to actually make me sit down to watch it. I'm actually going to say that I'm giving it up <clears throat> a plus four. Cause, oh, um, really? Yeah, okay. I feel love and charm and wonder for it, and I I really kind of want to see it. I can tell it's made by people who, who just really wanted to make a movie in the worst kind of way and succeeded. <laughs> yeah. See, it's just for me. It's not clear if they succeeded or succeeded yeah, well, we in the know. worst way. <laughs> That's what I'm I mean, saying. Yes. When I saw this trailer, I knew. Oh, Alex would. Alex probably loves this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of. Do. See, for me, it, it starts out with a couple. It. it starts out with a couple black marks for a. It's a horror movie. B. It's a horror movie. Neither of which I enjoy. But it is kind of intriguing. The little German scientist is, is fun. So oh, I got it up to a zero. And I think Alex, your your defense of it as as a, this is a haunted house in movie form, I, I think that pumped it up a little bit. So I, I'm at I'm at a solid point five. I will I will leave it with the last line in the uh, the thing is a man of vision is always misunderstood, and I I think I have to go with that. <sighs> that but, was another head desk moment. It's really, <laughs> it was a little cliche. Yeah, yeah. and it, did, and it wasn't I reveling. I didn't. These bits didn't feel – they were grabbing at tropes and cliches and <sighs> enthusiastically, but I don't know if they're reveling them quite entertainingly enough. They so. rode that cliche hard and put it away wet. Well, yeah. you know, there are other people who have been ridden hard and put away wet, and it happened in the 70s. I cannot even tell you what happened to make this film occur – with Christian Bale and Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner and Bradley Cooper, and for some reason they let Jennifer Lawrence hang out with them. It's that's right. It's, they let it's, her. I think they it's Christian that. Bale pretending to be Tom Cruise here in this first si scene. That, yeah. That's Christian Bale. What the yeah. heck am yeah. I yeah. watching? Yeah, colored glasses. This movie the man is, is a American. Th this movie is American Hustle. It is set during the seventies, as if the wing callers didn't give it away. Yeah, and it's about. Well, I, I'm pretty sure it's about art forgery, 
and Andrew, that's about all I can goddamn well tell you. I, it I looks don't like think there's it some is. generic crime, some stuff going on. There may be drugs involved. There's stepping I, I, sex. It, it's, it's definitely it's con. It's, it definitely, it definitely has strong emphasis on this is a con movie, uh, and, yeah. and not as in a convention, as in con man. Yeah. But right. other than that, what the hell is this movie about? I, I well, can't even know. I love the yeah. cynical bits of dialogue. Who's the master? The painter of the forger, or you yeah. still? I just got bigger balls than you. Balls than you. That was I, my yeah. <laughs> this this movie has some really awesome bits, but as a trailer, honestly, all you're seeing is you don't need the audio except for the little bits of dialogue. There's not that much. There's it not. is here. Let us do a rapid series of intercuts that might actually tell barrage. you something if yeah. you knew something. Yeah. It's yeah. it's it's tickling all the iconic 80s, well, early 80s, 70s. late 70s. Late it's 70s. establishing an environment, which is one thing the that a lot of period uh, trailers for period pieces do is you're here you you recognize what time period this is. Look at how we're you know doing this time period, and mm -hmm. it that actually appeals to me because I don't know it. it it looks different than other movies on the 70s I've seen. I mean, it has all the details of it, but it looks like it has a new cast, and I've never seen anyone try to do an emotional moment in a dry-cleaning shop before. <laughs> yeah, uh, what? Fair enough. Well, it's like, I, and I'll just be cheap with this. Well, not I'm not proud of, of this. I'm sorry, Keith? Not outside of college, you haven't. <laughs> 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 but uh, I haven't. And I'll just be cheap here. This is I'm not proud of this, but damn, there's a lot of hot actresses that I'm not familiar with in this movie. Oh, man, dude. Uh, and, and Jennifer it's, Lawrence. Yeah. Can I just uh, say, uh, having a lot of siblings, and so I, I watch a lot of Disney movies, it astounds me to see the lengths that Amy Adams is going to to distance herself from the Disney princess character. Oh, yeah. And and she's she's not the job. biggest one in that regard. <laughs> I, I know. But we, I twerk anyway. She yeah. might be the classiest one. Uh, yeah. Possibly. I mean, she's actually doing it through acting, not just through, oh, look at me, I'm on stage and I'm grinding against somebody. <laughs> no, I'm in front of a camera grinding against someone and it's artistic. Yeah. That's it's still better. better. Yeah, it's still better. I, I want to I wanna do a callback to a previous show. I, this is a fine example of a trailer designed to try and... And convey what it's about without saying anything else. Here's what it's about, but we don't want to tell you what the plot is. We don't want to tell you how these characters are beyond a quick sketch, but you will understand it, and now you're intrigued and you want to see more. Compare this to RoboCop's trailer. Remember that? Remember, you know, you know, a couple weeks ago? I remember all the rage. Well, you might as well not watch RoboCop, because everything good in that movie is undoubtedly sitting there in the trailer. And you can tell. It's the whole plot right there, the whole premise right there, and the outcome right there. Why watch the movie? Whereas this, this is a different class of, of construction. It, it, it illustrates without telling. And yeah, yet, you, you get some idea of people's roles, but you don't know all the <laughs> plot twists. You don't know what, you just know there's some, there's some illegality, there's some high living, well, there's some... Sex, drugs, some money rock and roll, damsels with rather yeah. unimpressive I, bustiers. That's true. Yeah. And can I get you? Can I get you to do me a favor for real quick, Squid? Go yeah. back to uh, give us a freeze frame at about fifty-six seconds in there. About fifty-six. Uh, the, they're coming seconds. off the coming off the plane with the guy in the turban. All and, right. Fair. And I and I, I'm sorry for this, but I have to make a horrible, horrible <laughs> pun about this. Oh look, it's a geek seek. Oh, 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 I need you to hurt yourself. It's a what? Geek chic, I think you meant to say. Is, is, it, oh. is it with an H? H? I'm not sure. That's what I it, There's a difference between seeks and chics. It's complicated. Seeks have full on big turbans, and, and yeah, that's totally different. <laughs> that's, that's a different You guy. can't see this, but my tongue is stuck firmly in the side of my cheek. I can tell. I can tell. I. Let's let's do the rundown on this one. We've got like ten minutes left. I think we can get one more trailer in, and it'll be a good one. So, all right, I'm gonna go first because I I gotta be honest you you about this. This trailer intrigues me. I'm not really sure. I'm intrigued by the movie, but I'm intrigued by the art by which they've assembled the trailer. 
And I really want to see Christian Bale doing this, because holy shit, he looks like Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like him. It's creepy as hell. Ain't and he's learned awesome. to do a more Eastern accent than his normal radio standard American accent. <laughs> a little bit. I'm I, Christian Bale is a is probably an underrated actor as an actor. Yeah. And I I like seeing him no, in this he stuff. He commits so much. I've been he really does. watching his films since he was Lori in Little Women. Wow. It's a sickness. Let's let's <laughs> let's run left to right again. Adam, you are first up as uh, a oh, man wow. who, a man who appreciates women with small breasts. This movie ought to be right up your alley. No, no, no. because there's a difference between appreciating women with smaller bustiers and women with practically nothing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There's a difference between having, say, a B cup. That's you know bouncy, jiggly, and nice, and then you've got this woman in the preview, which looks like they were ironed down. This this uh, these outfits are not particularly flattering. So negative five to positive More five. the seventies. How how are you feeling about the trailer? The trailer itself, rather disinterested. I don't think I'd watch it. Not really my thing. So actively disinterested or just bored? Board. Just, just goose I'll egg. I'll give it from a zero. You. It gets the goose egg. Gets the goose egg of apathy. Goose egg of apathy. If it was on TV, I'd change the channel. Oh, Bruce, how about you? Negative one. Negative one. Negative. You have negative feelings about this. Well, I mean, pretty much, I was going to give it a zero because, but since you guys insist, I have feelings about things. Well. <laughs> The only thing I have feelings for is Jennifer Lew uh, Lawrence in it, so... Well, that's very sad. And you have negative feelings about Jennifer Lawrence in it? No, okay. that's the only positive, but it's not worthy enough to give it a one. Ooh, that, it doesn't even move it off of negative one to apathy. Very, very sad. And the same thing, if it was on TV, I wouldn't even waste the... Uh, I mean, I'd turn off the TV before I'd watch it, so... Mm -mm -mm. Dawn, I know that uh, you're a big fan of Christian Bale and his pretty eyes. Not really, but yeah, Christian Bale doesn't have pretty eyes. No. <laughs> he no. doesn't have pretty eyes. He just doesn't. But how about, Jer how about Jeremy Renner then? Not really. No, women tend yeah, to be. Oh, no, uh, not really. That's even worse. They're they're no Shamar Moore. I'm just oh saying. well. No. no. Okay. So, <laughs> but I I am somewhat interested in this. I'm I'm kind of wanting to know what all the illegal happenings are. So I'm going to say a plus two. Mm, plus two. Eric? I, I I submitted this trailer. I'm intrigued by this trailer. Like everything that uh, you and Don said, uh, I'm interested by this. I want to know what's going on. I want to know the details. And... For it, it uses the whole montage barrage technique, which is way too damn common in trailers, very well in establishing a mood, a feel, reference to a time period. I'm giving the solid plus three. Plus three. I'm going to throw down with a uh, plus three myself. So I think that's, uh, that's, that's three of us at plus three. That's pretty nice. Key, what you got? Well, I think the trailer was very well made. It makes you want to know more than it gives you. Uh, I'm a fan of Christian Bale as an actor. I blame an inappropriate attachment to the character Laurie. <laughs> Fair but enough. I think he, it's interesting. Um, it's full of things I love, like con jobs and slapping legal things and art forgery um, and men with curlers less with true. the men with curlers oh that's right oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh and so. I really liked the tile in one of the bathrooms they were in 
I'm just is that is that it? You just like the movie because of the tile in the bathroom? No, hey, look, that's important. That it was a thing I like. I care about set dressing, okay? <laughs> What's your hey, number, Key? I'm not There's hating. There's a hell of a lot of set dressing going on here. I'm not way. hating. Um, I'm probably around a plus three. Man, that's the four if of us. Knew, this is uh, maybe the best rated one so far. If I knew yeah. more about the movie, I might give it a higher rating, but going with the trailer, solid plus three. It's kind of... Looks capery and fun, mm -hmm. full of cynicism. It reminds me a little bit of The Good Guys. Maybe a little. Maybe which a little. was an unfortunately short lived TV series. All right, Spencer, lay it on us. What you got? Uh, meh. meh. I'm, a, I'm a giant goose egg on this one. It's. It, it, it doesn't goose grab egg. me. It doesn't intrigue You're me. You're full of apathy tonight, Spencer. I'm full, full of apathy. Crap. Nobody gives a crap. You are giving a goose egg. What What about this uh, trailer? Is the best part, in your opinion? Um, I I honestly don't know. There's nothing really good about it. the the The, the only thing is, who's better, the artist or the forger? That that's the only redeeming quality this thing has. Because that's actually an interesting question. Who's better, the person who made the original or the person who can copy the original so exactly that no one can tell the difference? I, I yeah. can't argue with that. I think we're actually going to call the show at that point because, dear God, we're like three minutes till. So, Bruce, I want you to tell us what we're going to be doing tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Tomorrow night on the Media Outsiders at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Talk Show ID 81865. We'll be reviewing, without spoilers, Prisoner. And maybe we might even talk about Loki's tattoo. And we'll also <laughs> talk about TV shows that we are excited about coming up this season. Oh, oh God, yes. Uh, I will. I'll go out on a limb right now and tell you that uh, Sleepy Hollow is going to come out of my mouth, and 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 I'm going to tell you what I told folks last night because <clears throat> I watched that they re-aired the promo. If I were into dudes, I would totally be banging Ichabod Crane. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I, I think we're all going to have the words Marvel's Agents of Shield coming out of our mouth tomorrow as well. It's possible. Does that air tomorrow? Well, except for me, because tomorrow, around this time, I'm going to be on the road to California. Woohoo, San Diego! Oh, uh, well. Uh, you can call in on a phone. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm not sure I can I can share your your excitement about Sleepy Hollow there, Squid Lord, just because I have played the Headless Horseman, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> well, you've got the shoulders. I can't. I've, I've, you know... I'll talk about it more tomorrow, but the show does involve the idiot ball being carried a whole hell of a lot. Uh, that's kind of annoying. But, you know what? It's okay. We'll talk about that tomorrow night. Let's go through and see what our final thoughts are. I'm going to go left to right, as always, because um, I'm lazy that way. Adam Stevenson, hit it out to California tomorrow. Go into a big old hole in the water. Nope, nope, no, I'm not. Oh, that's I'm right. You're sure duty now. You're sure duty. You're, you're, you're an engineer on shore. Let's yes. get weird. Yes, if I you, am. If you had to give one piece of advice to everyone listening about how to conduct their personal lives, what would it be? <clears throat> oh, no, it requires production. It doesn't need the hat, yes. If I could offer one piece of advice mm -hmm. about, what did you say again? How to how lead to, your how life? To, how to conduct their personal lives. How to conduct your personal life. Quickly, quickly. Disregard winches. Acquire currency. Oh, this is wise, wise beyond your years, sir. Bruce, other than watch <laughs> the, and listen to the media outsiders tomorrow night, if there's one piece of advice you can give people about how to conduct their personal lives, what would it be? I have no idea there, I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm goose-egging it, zero. <laughs> Drink more tea. <laughs> Don Jones, trawler of stupid on Facebook. You could give people one piece of advice, yada yada. Oh, that's easy. When you get that little tingly feeling when you mm -hmm. meet somebody, that is common sense leaving your body. Stop that shit right then. Stop it. <laughs> Very important. Eric Thompson, man who has no tingly feelings... 
Ah. You could give one piece of advice, etc., etc. Be careful of what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. Be careful of who you love. And be careful what you do, because the lie becomes the truth. I see. Fiomi Deal, a liar who tells the truth all the time, people's lives, etc. No. <laughs> and that's, oh, best answer. <laughs> that's spelled in you. Look it up. Seriously, Wikipedia, folks. And that, uh, for our last of our guests, Spencer Powell, who's been a great man, sucking on his lollipop all night long. You can give people one piece of advice about their personal lives. What would it be? It would be work in such a way that no one knows how important you are until you're not there. And Good. then they kill you. That's, that's bad. I'm going to leave you with one piece of information, one bit of knowledge that I picked up in all of my millennia of existence. <laughs> I want you to go out, kill like nobody's watching, and dance on the bodies like you're about to have sex with them. That's that's my I suggestion. You were going to say, don't stick it in the crazy. No, I do that all the time. That's important. Don't, don't, don't stick it in the crazy if you're skilled. Don't stick it in the crazy if you are not talented for it. Folks, this has been Operation BSU Trailer Trash 3 Rise of the Robot Tentacle. Uh, apparently, since we're not out of trailers, I got, I guess i got to do this again in two weeks. I, I, I guess that's you where we're at. You could go on for another 15 go. minutes. Yeah. No. no. But we have to do the trailer of the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared feature film. It has to be done. <laughs> Don't hug me, I'm scared. The feature film. You know what? I maybe, maybe do that. Otherwise, otherwise known as Black Sunrise. But whatever. Black That's Sunrise happening. is next week. Oh my yes. God. That is definitely next week. That, we next show, which won't be next week. Uh, Monday the thirtieth, Spencer. Okay. You have the All Dayathon. I had the All Dayathon. Um, won't you tell people about that very briefly, and then uh, briefly. if you would do a write up on uh, the BSU community. Probably I will. Or just share what I have. Uh, s uh, Monday, September 30th. Very special, important day for me. And so I'm going to be spending all day streaming uh, via YouTube and Google+. Plus. Uh, find me on Google+. Plus. My name is, of course, Spencer Powell. It's, it's, I'm not that difficult to find. And you can see all the events that have been set up. I, it's split up into different chunks of the day based on what I'm going to be doing. So awesome. come and see. There will, be, there will be Operation BSU gameplay of Siren and Kingdom. See, the kingdom I knew about, I, the Siren was a surprise. It was on the list. It was on I, the list when I first put it out. All right. All right. All right. So that's the 30th, folks. It's if you happen. want to uh, play some games with us, we can probably arrange that, and we'll be helping out on and off as best we can. Uh, two weeks from now, two weeks from tonight, you can come back and see Operation BSU Live, Trailer Trash, and we will do more trailers. But until then, this is us. Signing off. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.